Hi and welcome to another episode of Willis Garage. I am here with my table saw. This is the finished lift mechanism which you saw me build in the last episode. In the first episode of this series I presented my design in Fusion 360 and explained how I was thinking about the design. In the second part of this build series I build my first uh, lift mechanism design and I also failed to get it to work properly. It was uh, not designed correctly. So I had to go back into Fusion and back in the thinking box and I get a new design on the lift mechanism. I did do that and I got some new rails and I could build this the second edition of the lift mechanism which works uh, pretty good pretty darn good. Now that I have a working lift mechanism I need to build the outer box. This is going to be the outer shell which you are going to see here in the workshop. That outer box is going to house uh, this whole assembly inside and I'm also going to have some uh, tilt mechanisms mounted on the sides here and on the insides of the outer shell. So what I have to do now is to build the outer box the motor here I have not attached it yet. I'm not going to attach it before I get the box finished and I get this assembly down into the box. That way I can see if I need to adjust something when attaching the motor and saw blade. The riving knife I'm also going to make but that is going to be in another episode. I have already cut all the pieces I need for the outer box so these are all here. Let's build the outer box. Okay, so here we have the box for the table saw. I have not attached uh, the front plate yet because I have to do some uh, things to it. Uh, first of all, I need to make the slot here for the lead screw for the up and down function. That lead screw is of course going to move when I change the angle of the blade. So I have to make a slot that goes in a curve here that follows the curve that the inner box is going to take when I tilt the blade. This curve has to go at least 46 degrees uh, so that I have the opportunity to adjust the blade at least 45 degrees. So I went into Fusion on the computer uh, on the model and found the center point of the tilting. It's going to go in the middle of the saw blade on top of the tabletop. I found exactly where that point is from the middle of the front plate. The height from the top of the front plate on top to the tabletop is going to be 19 millimeters. And from this side of the top plate to the center point of where the point is going to be is 41.97 centimeters or 42 centimeters. Then I went in and made the adjustment from the center point down to the middle of the lead screw and that was uh, approximately 48.15 centimeters or 481 millimeters. So now I have the measurements I need to make a jig for my router, my handheld router. I'm going to make the jig that I have the point up here that is going to be the center point and I'm going to have a board down the exact length I measured 
in the model so I can make the curved slot exactly in the right position. have uh, what is going to be the tilt mechanism on the table saw. I used my CNC machine as you saw and this is supposed to be one piece. I had to uh, carve it out in two pieces because my CNC machine is too small. This piece is going to be attached on the inside of the outer cabinet of the table saw, like so. Just putting it down here to show you. I'm going to give this a good sanding on top because this is where the gliding uh, function will be. These two pieces are going to be attached, one on each side, on the inside cabinet where the lifting mechanism is housed. This is going to be attached on the outside cabinet. This is going to be attached on the inside cabinet. It's going to be laid like this. And when everything is attached properly, this will have the ability to uh, slide like this. When I made these circles, I made sure that the center point of the circles up here is in the center of the saw blade all the way on top of the uh, tabletop. That way, when you use this tilting mechanism, the saw blade will stay still uh, according to the surface of the tabletop, no matter what angle it's in. This is important later because you don't want the saw blade to move on on top because then you will have to change out the saw blade insert every time you change an angle. This way you can use the same table saw insert but use different angles. I saw this tip on Wintergatan YouTube channel. He's building an amazing marble machine over there so go and check him out. Anyhow he used this graphite powder. It's a fine fine powder. It's dry and it can be used as a dry lubricant. Especially on wood, it's uh, good. This way I'll get a lubricant between these pieces, up and down like so. And I'm also going to lubricate the outside of the box on both sides. I can't wait to get started on this, so let's go.
I did uh, do a test uh, fitting of this now. I have not attached this uh, front uh, plate yet because I just wanted to test the function of the tilting. And as you can see, it works pretty good. That's why I'm going to end this episode uh, here right now because I have figured out a couple of things I need to do to this before I can assemble it um, fully. The first thing that's uh, wrong is uh, the slot for the lead screw. Somehow I have done an error here, so it hits this slot here. And it also hits the slots down here. I'm not completely sure why this happened, but I think it is because I used my 3D model in uh, Fusion 360 to figure out where this lead screw was in according to the inner cabinet with the lift mechanism. But I forgot to measure in uh, real life where I actually put this lead screw because I'm not completely sure it's entirely in the center of this inner cabinet like it is in the Fusion 360 model. So I have to check that. And if you look uh, up in here, I thought I could get away with only having this lower curve rail uh, and this top curve rail because it's uh, a lot of weight down here. But as you can see when I try to drive it like this, it's moving and lifting up from the bottom rail. That can't happen when this is finished, so I need to make uh, a curve to have on the top here also, on both sides here. And there also is a couple of more changes that I want to do, but as I said, that will be in the next episode. With that, I say thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you want. Comment, I'm very glad to get comments. And until next time, goodbye.